Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix 100% disk usage on any PC in 2024. I hope this video helps you out, so make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started. All right, step number one is checking any disk error and corruptions. And for that, you have to open up command prompt and run this as an administrator. Now, once it opens up, you have to type in the first command that is SFC space slash scan now it will find any corruption if there is possible on your pc any system file if that is missing if yes it will automatically fix it once it is done it will show you this message that means windows resource protection did not found any integrity violations that means your pc is absolutely perfect the second command that you have to do is this chk dsk space c colon space slash f press enter this should start fixing your local disk c and if it is corrupted you can do this for as many drives as you want whichever is giving you 100 percent usage once again you cannot do this right now because you have to restart your pc so simply press y and it will do it automatically whenever your pc boots up the next time next step is isas partition master it is a super simple master control application that helps you to manage your disk efficiently on your pc like a pro you can get the free version of it from the link in the description below and it should look like this using it you can resize and move your disk space you can clone or merge your operating system you can even format your disk delete the partition merge the partition split the partition extend or shrink the partition and they have a lot more things to do it is a super handy application which helps you to clone convert recover your old partition make a bootable media and a toolkit offers you a lot of things as well it is important to know that perfect partition of your disks will help you to give you better FPS and better performance in game because if your disks are managed correctly, you can get best FPS possible in the game and best performance of your PC. And for that, I highly recommend you guys to get an SSD installed on your PC. SSD are much faster than your hard disk drive and Jesus Partition Master also helps you to manage your SSD. Just like me, I have used my migrate os and migrated my os from my hard disk drive to my ssd so previously my operating system was in this hard disk that is disk 2 and i have transferred it from disk 2 to disk 3 that is my 1 tb ssd once you selected your source you have to select your destination go over to next and if you click on yes it will restart your pc and it will start migrating your operating system isis partition master is a super efficient way to manage your disk and increase your system performance drastically it has a lot of pro features which you can look out for yourself i'll leave a link to this down in the description below make sure to go check out isis partition master next step is best windows settings and for that you have to open up settings on your pc right over here you have to look up for storage then over here you'll find turn on storage sense simply open it up then you'll find storage sense right over here make sure that this is turned on click on it and Tick mark on the first option that is keep windows running smoothly by automatically cleaning up temporary files and application files. Right after that, you have to also enable automatic user content cleanup and configure cleanup schedules, run storage sense every day, delete files in my recycle bin every 14 days and in the download folder never just in case you do not want to delete it accidentally. If you have iCloud, you will also find your iCloud options right over here, but do not change anything. Simply click on run storage sense now and it will start running in the background. Sometimes Windows update could also cause high disk usage. And for that, I highly recommend you guys to disable, get the latest Windows updates as soon as they are available. And you can simply look up for new update every single time it is available. I would also suggest you guys to go right inside the advanced options and then over here, go over to delivery optimization and then make sure to turn off allow downloads from other PC. And once that is done, simply close your settings. Next step is disk defragmentation. And this is a super simple yet important step. You have to simply search for defrag and optimize drives. Simply open this thing up and you'll find all of your partitions right over here. You're looking for your local disk C and you have to make sure to take a note of your media type. If that is a hard disk drive, you'll find an option to analyze it. If you have a solid state drive, you'll find an option to optimize it. Now the difference between analyze and optimize is analyze helps you to figure out your hard disk type and it helps you to map your hard disk and defragment it. However, optimize will help you to trim your 
solid state drive that is your ssd and trimming your ssd will help you to increase the performance and the lifetime of the ssd so for my local disk c i have to simply click on optimize and it will start trimming my solid state drive however if i select my hard disk drive click on analyze it will start analyzing my hard disk drive it might take a while because hard disks are generally slower than an ssd once that is done it will start defragmenting your hard disk drive which will help you to optimize your HDD performance. I would also recommend you guys to click on change setting and enable both of these options and set the frequency to daily just so it automatically does the task every single time you boot up your PC. It will help you to increase your system performance. Next step is disabling all startup applications and you can do that by pressing Ctrl Shift and Escape on your PC and that will open up Task Manager. Over here you'll find startup applications where you'll find all of your installed application on your PC. Once again, if you do not oftenly use an application, I highly recommend you guys to right click on that and simply click on disable. Doing so will allow your PC to reduce your booting time and it will also help you to run less resources and less applications in the background that will ultimately keep your disk usage and RAM usage and it will also optimize your PC in the long run. Next step is creating a restore point and for that you have to search for create a restore point on your PC. Simply look up for your local disk C, click on configure, make sure the turn system protection is enabled, click on create and name it disk optimization and click on create. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential in saving a system integrity if you want to restore every setting back without any data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Last and final step is the disk usage fix pack 2024. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below in which you'll find all of my new batch files. First one is clean temporary files. This is very important. You'll find in two folders, local temp and windows temp. Simply open it up and shift delete all of these files. Once again, you cannot delete all of them because some of them might be in use. So you have to simply skip all of them. And once that is done, you have to go back, open up the windows temp file and you have to do the same right over here. Shift delete all of them. Continue. You cannot delete some of them skip all of them and once that is done close this as well second folder is the batch tweaks in which i have the bcd tweak disable memory compression and disable process mitigation you have to right click and run all of them as administrator all of them contain some of the commands that you do not have to manually type in it will be automatically executed so it will be helping your system as well third folder is a windows important tweaks in which i have left the registry files for disabling unwanted services background applications disable downloading maps disable transparency enable clean Clear page file at shutdown and win32 priority separation that will overall help you to increase your system performance however i have also left a revert registry if you want to revert them back to normal last is the power plan in which i have left increased power efficiency you have to double click and merge this as well as it will help you to optimize the power consumption of your pc and next is the ultimate performance string you have to copy the string right over here open up the command prompt as administrator and right over here, you have to paste this command, press enter, I've already done it. Now you have to open up control panel on your PC, look up for power options. And once you're over here, you have to make sure that you click on ultimate performance and it will help you to get better performance and better power optimization on your PC. Once that is done, close this pack and you're good to go. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.